Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. We're back if you've seen us before. If you haven't, I'm Stephanie from Sprightly Events, and this is... I'm Laura from Emptage Photography. Uh, and today we're gonna talk about ways to keep guests entertained at your wedding. And now, of course, it's your wedding day, so do what you'd like, um, but in our experience in weddings, we've seen a lot of creative ways to entertain guests throughout the day. Um, we were talking about this a little bit before, um, do you have any stories or interesting things that you've seen at weddings? Yeah. Um, the coolest thing I ever saw at a wedding, it was one of my first weddings. It was actually my first wedding I was shooting solo. I, I, all my first seven weddings, I had sort of brought my brother in with me. And so I was, I was pretty nervous. But um, they brought in a comedy drag show. And like full feathers and costumes and lights and like comedy show. That's wild. <laughs> yeah, it was really cool. Um, the first, they did two acts and like the first act was a little bit more child friendly. And then once it was like late at night and they knew the kids were gonna be gone, it was very, like they just let it all out and it was, it was hilarious. I have this funny picture of like the bride's grandma and the, the drag queen has got like a boa around her and grandma's like, yay! That's wild. Was yeah. it like friends of the couple? Yeah, or? yeah. Okay. it was yes. their friends or something. They knew them at least yeah. to yeah. get this. That's yeah. really neat. Yeah, it was very creative. Yeah, so I mean, not everybody's gonna wanna like a drag show, but some kind of live entertainment, like whether it be like a game or live music or like just get your, your guests interacting and engaging, right? For sure. Um, when would you say is like a good time for that? Or is there a good time or just kind of whenever? After think? speeches. After speeches. Yeah, okay, like yeah. do first dances, speeches. And then have some entertainment. And then have a little bit of entertainment, yeah. That's creative. Mm -hmm. uh, usually what I see at a lot of weddings for when we introduce that entertainment is in the cocktail hour. Mm. Um, just because a lot of times you can't get away from doing photos in that. Yeah. Like it just happens that they need to go do photos. Mm -hmm. So they'll bring in entertainment aspects to entertain their That's, guests yeah. throughout those longer cocktail hours. Yeah. Um, I've seen characterist artists. Oh, that's nice. They're super fun. Um, I've seen, yeah, live music's always a big one. Just even like um, somebody with a guitar or like a, a three piece. It doesn't mm -hmm. have to be like anything wild or crazy. Yeah. Um, I usually see bands later at the, in the in night. In the night, yeah. yeah. Um, but some other creative fun things I've seen is flair bartending. What's that? Um, it's like, Oh, there's a movie about it and I can't think of the name. Um, but flair bartending is where they do like the tricks and flips and stuff oh. with the with the bottles and the okay. glasses and stuff. So yeah. it's just kind of fun for guests to watch throughout the night. You don't yeah. even need to have them there all night long. Mm -hmm. um, there must be hours. a company locally that's doing that. There's a few and there's a few like staffing companies I think that have a flair bartender on oh, their okay. on their staff roster. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah, it's neat. Um, what else have I seen? Um, oh, have you seen the like the games on the tables, like the I yes. Spies and yeah. the like the Mad Libs? Yeah, um, I think that's a really fun way. Yeah, people actually play with those. Yeah, and, like not everybody, but there are definitely groups that get get into get that. into it. Yeah. yeah, and you can use them as your kissing game. Um, you can yes. use them throughout the cocktail hour, but it's also nice if you do like the Mad Libs or something, and you have a box for them for the cup. Um, that you put it put into the box at the end of the night, and then the couple can take it on their honeymoon, mm -hmm. something to read on the the plane or whatever. Oh yeah, I think that's really fun. Yeah, that is cool. Uh, what else? Have you seen anything um, else? Well, you said about the kissing games. Yeah. Like most venues don't want people clanging on yeah. the the silver the silverware on the I guess the glass. On the glass bear, yeah. yeah. And um, so that's like a rule. So they always have interesting ways of doing kissing game. And one thing that I've seen a lot is like sing a song about love yep and then they kiss yeah that's a cute one yeah i like that a lot of other ways i've seen for especially cocktail hours or later in the night um is lawn games mm. they've become really really yeah. big i saw um, that at a wedding, this, wedding yeah i did one this year yeah. that had lawn games yeah. yeah and then a new trend is bringing in bouncy castles seen that Ooh. yeah <laughs> i know super fun and like why not i mean you might get a little sweaty but i would do it's it fun. yeah I would totally do in a bouncy castle why not there's so many ways you can be creative with entertaining your guests um and you don't even have to spend a lot mm -hmm. if you don't if you don't have it in your budget mm -hmm. um I've yeah well most friends have like most people have a friend that like plays guitar or yes. something so even if you don't hire someone i'm sure you have 
like enough resources amongst your friends that there might be someone that'd be willing to do something for exactly. half an hour or whatever. Or even like board game tables are really big yeah. um, for the people yeah. who don't dance. Like grab a board oh, game, true. play some games. Yeah. Um, long games are great for the outdoor weddings. Mm -hmm. um, even things like interactive food tables or food stations, um, like ice cream sundae oh, bars. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or, um, oh, a brownie bar. I went yeah. to a brownie bar and I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. Right? <laughs> like hot chocolate bars, um, yeah. create your own cocktails, like yeah. just things that get people involved and moving and up and around. And I don't know, it, I think it's a little, more, a little bit more fun than just going up to the bar or getting a plate of dessert, right? Exactly. Like it gets you yeah. up and moving and mingling. Yeah. So. For the brownie bar, they had toppings that were like groom's favorite toppings and bride's favorite toppings. And then you could pick, you know. That's amazing. Yeah, it was really cool. Yeah, that's yeah. really neat. I, yeah, I've never had a brownie bar, but now mm -hmm. I'm like, let's do that. Mm -hmm. All I get is donuts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't like donuts. <laughs> <laughs> they're fun. Like donuts. Donut, donut walls. walls. Yeah, yeah, they're so fun. And yeah. donut stands and tables. Mm -hmm. Like, I totally get it. Mm -hmm. um, most people love donuts, so yeah. they're really fun. Yeah. Um, ice cream sundaes would be my thing for sure. Yeah. But, yeah. I love speeches. Do you? Personally, like, that's my favorite part of the wedding. Really? And they could go on for hours. Unless it's somebody just up there repeating themselves over yeah. and over where you're like, yeah. they obviously didn't prepare. Mm -hmm. um, but honestly, yeah. And I never know the people speaking. Or but do, very you get, rarely. do you get teary sometimes? Oh, 100%. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Right. I'm like, I'm bawling my eyes out. I'm like, I don't know you, but this yeah. is so special. Yeah. <laughs> it's same with the vows, like bawling my eyes out during the yeah. vows. And the first look gets me every time. If oh, I'm lucky it? enough to actually yeah. get to see the first look, yeah. I'm like crying my eyes out. I'm like, yeah. oh, the photographer is doing this. <laughs> like, you guys have to wipe your eyes as you're like shooting. Yeah. <laughs> this one time I actually photographed like a real engagement. She thought it was just like a birthday gift for like a photo session and he got down and proposed and I was like blubbering. I was like. Because <laughs> you weren't expecting to be there? No, I knew. Oh, Him and did. I planned it. Okay. But. I was like, how'd you know when he was going to like. Yeah. Not miss the ring shot yeah. or whatever. You no, we kind of had a signal, like he, so I sort of knew when it was going to happen. And nice. But yeah, I was, they were bawling and I was bawling. Yeah. Yeah. That's was, exciting. Yeah, I want to do more of those. Like surprise for proposals? Yeah. Surprise. Like document proposals. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah that'd be fun. Um, oh, flash mobs are another thing I've seen. Flash mobs. Flash mobs. Yeah. That would be cool. That'd I haven't seen fun. that. Yeah, they're fun. Or oh, even choreograph first dances or a way to entertain your guests, right? Oh, yeah. 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 I had one, um, oh, I can't think of the name of the song. It's going to come to me. But um, they had, he had proposed on top of a mountain, and when they walked down, they were just humming this song. And so it became their first dance song, but it's definitely, like, not a first dance song. And they came out and, like, did this whole, like, cool little dance to it. And the guests were just like, ah! That's cool. Yeah, like, it was, it really was cool. just one song? It was just one song, yeah. I, I'm going to remember what it's called later. Nice. <laughs> I've seen where, like, they'll do mashups of songs. And they'll, oh, like, yeah. mix it up. Or they'll, like, they'll start with the slow dance, and then it, like, goes into something crazy. Mm -hmm. And then they have it all choreographed. That's really mm -hmm. fun. Yeah. Tom and I um, did a Pakistani wedding, and it, there was all sorts of choreograph. I can dances, imagine. And it, like the guests loved it, and it was beautiful. Where did you do that one? Um, Mississauga, Tom. Okay, yeah. yeah. We were talking about that last night because I was with Little Mushroom, yeah. and uh, I was talking about the the East Indian weddings, and mm -hmm. I was like, where do you do them? Mm -hmm. Victoria Park's a big one. But oh, I believe just cause that. Because you need such a large the space, space for the guests. Because yeah. yeah. usually there's like 400 people or yeah. something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tom, have you seen anything creative or interesting at weddings? Keep guests entertained. Oh, no, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Photo mm -hmm. booths. <laughs> yeah. No, that's true. Yeah. We uh, we started offering photo booths about a year ago. And, uh, yeah, guests love that, too. I mean, I would say, what, like, one in three or half of weddings have photo booths? What's your kind of guess? Oh, my. Photo booths. Yeah, probably half now. Yeah. And they popped up. When would you say they popped up? Probably, like, six, seven years ago? Maybe longer? I think... Yeah, with, yeah, it would be like with the technology, right? Yeah. So, yeah, like eight, ten, I, I went to a wedding maybe eight years ago and, and it, was fair, it was fairly new, yeah. Yeah. Photo booths are such an easy, creative way to entertain your guests and I honestly forgot how fun they are. Mm -hmm. I, I see them all the time, mm -hmm. like they always come in later or you have them as your guest book. I literally see them all the time and for me in my job, it's like, okay, you're going to set up here, here's the props, you're going to run this long. Yeah. So like. I don't actually see the other side of it where yeah. you're like get to you know 
put on the fun props and like take fun photos. Yeah. But I was a guest at a wedding a few weeks ago and they had a photo booth. Oops, it's gonna be loud. <laughs> um, they had a photo booth and I got to just oh, enjoy it. Oh, I saw the pictures it. from that. Yeah, yeah like yeah. I and I, for, I like I was like, yeah. well, should we do it? Like I said, we see them all the time. And we did it, and I was like, this is so fun. Like, I actually see why guests love it. No, they so, do. Yeah. Um, it's just very different when you when you see them all the time versus being in them. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it was, it was yeah. nice to see yeah. that they're still... A thing. Yeah, yeah they're when, still a thing, and they're still fun. Yeah. When uh, Tom and I have set them up at events, um, sometimes, like, I'll make him take a photo with me. Yeah, to <laughs> test it? Yeah. Well, no, at the end, like... You know, oh. I'm like, let's, let's do a fun one. That's nice. Because I, I always want a photo from it, right? Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> There's so many different ones too. Like there's the ones, there's ones where the photographer still takes the images and then sends yeah. you all the images. There's yeah. the ones that print themselves. There's yeah. the ones that there's like the new magic mirror ones. Oh, I've um, seen those. Yeah, yeah. there. Yeah, there's so many different mm -hmm. ones and they're all unique and fun mm -hmm. and do their like, do their own thing. So. Yeah. So when we do it, we print two photos. Yeah. And the the guests take one copy and then they can write something on the back right. and give it to the couple. So at the end of the night, the couple gets all the photos like. Right then and there. Yeah. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really cool. Uh, this weekend, when I was doing the uh, the BMW Christmas party photo booth, there was a really amazing moment and great photo that came out of it. Um, so they were doing like a giant, uh, the whole staff group taking a picture together, and one of the it was actually a, the event organizer had like snuck into the back of the whole group and he had one of those single-use confetti cannons that make a really loud bang and so confetti fun. everywhere. Yeah. So when the countdown on the photo booth got down to like two seconds, one second, he lit it off, and it just scared the shit out of everyone. <laughs> yeah. So That's everyone reaction. has amazing facial expressions, and then there's him in the background laughing and just confetti coming down. <laughs> it, was a, it was a good photo. That's <laughs> amazing. Yeah. That's really fun. Yeah. Um, That's, a, That's another simple little trick you could do to entertain guests and jazz up your... Yeah, as long as venues let you do it. Yeah. Some venues have, Yeah. Yeah, that was actually one of the things that came up in research. That oh, was yeah. like, um, like your own confetti bar even. Ooh. Like let guests like create their confetti and, and then, then get to throw, throw it. it. Yeah. yeah. Sparkler send offs mm -hmm. are another big one. Mm -hmm. um, that are, or just sparklers in general. Mm -hmm. Those always scare me, but a little bit. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. yeah. I, I've I've had them work well. Yeah, but I think it just depends on your crowd. So if you do it really late at night and you have a party crowd, that usually doesn't go as well. Right. After you know five drinks or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I've had them work really really well. Or just do it earlier when people yes. are like you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Used to do a lot of waterfall pictures where I'd go use a oh, sprinkler yeah. in front of. A waterfall in winter. In winter, yeah, of course in winter. And <laughs> the one night I slipped on some ice and oh, no. threw the sparkler, and my gut reaction was to catch the thing that I threw. Right. So I pinched the shining part, and it took me a second to realize it, and I dropped it instantly in the water, but then shut my hand. But it, I had a really nasty burn. Yeah, yeah. and imagine. it was your camera hand too. Yeah. Oh, so of he course. was. It was all bandaged it up. Was, yeah, it was my thumb, oh. like. The pad of my index finger. Yeah. Aww, that's so horrible. he suffered for like a month. Yeah. Ouch. So mm -hmm. You're like, no yeah. more sparklers. Yeah. I've Never seen YouTube again. videos too of like girls' veils and sparklers and stuff. So. That's terrifying. Yeah. You got to be careful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I think confetti's safer. Yes. Confetti <laughs> and bubbles. Bubbles. Confetti outside. Or there's lots of new um, eco friendly confetti, which oh, is yeah. really fun. Yeah. yeah. It's just like, it leaves literally and just yeah. um, pre um, punched like little is punched out of leaves. Oh yeah. It's eco-friendly. So that's, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you can get leaves in every color. So. Yeah. 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 I was actually going to say in the beginning of our video, I'm so proud of how far we've come because it's minus 100 today and we didn't have to turn the heat off because we now have microphones. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The first time we didn't have microphones, so we had to turn everything yeah. off. Yeah. We turned the fridge off. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily it was warm that day because they yeah. were still cutting the grass that day. Of yeah. course. We turned yeah. everything off and they're outside like mowing the grass. <laughs> the one noise. Yeah. You know what I noticed in the last video, too? You know how I stuck Baron? Yeah. Was he in it? You could, like, every once in a while see his him. nose against oh. the window. <laughs> yeah. Oh, do you want to wrap this video up? I started the video, so you, you can started. Wrap okay, video. okay. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Um, we appreciate it. Um, like our video, subscribe on YouTube, and we'll see you soon. That was good. Yeah, okay. Was that awkward? No call to action. Oh, like and subscribe. That was called action. <laughs> yeah, what it really about? wasn't good enough. No. Um, okay. Thanks for tuning in. We appreciate it. 
like our videos and subscribe on YouTube. We want to know what's the most interesting thing you have seen at a wedding. It's a good one. Yeah. Better call to action. Tom still doesn't look impressed. No, he doesn't look impressed at all. <laughs> we should just put Tom here and he can do the end for us. Yeah. Just cuts to Tom. And He's then... always the off off camera guy. Thanks for tuning in. Um, we appreciate it. Like our pages and subscribe on YouTube. We want to know if there's anyone you would like us to interview or if you're a wedding vendor and or a recent bride that has something interesting to say, we want to interview you. So let us know. There, was that good? <laughs> Can we add that in at the end? There, was that good? <laughs> Is this good enough ending yet? Do Thank you want to try it? Try and do the call that. So thanks for tuning in. Um, like and subscribe. And if there's You want to be interviewed. Right. Thanks for coming over, Steph. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Although that's really like, just cuts to that. So thank you. <laughs> we've talked about a lot of creative creative things we've seen at weddings to keep your guests entertained, but we want to know if you've seen anything or if you're planning on doing anything creative for your guests um, to keep them entertained throughout the day. Uh, thanks for tuning in today. Like and subscribe to our channel. I already forgot the other one. <laughs> and some, if, oh. you, if you would like to be interviewed, if you're a wedding vendor and you um, have something interesting to say or you want to talk about something, reach out. There, does that work? That was Did awkward. we kill that one? <laughs>